Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Encina. Welcome to 2014. What have you discovered, what have you learned in the last 12 months of your business? Well, as a coach working with so many clients, I have found that there tends to be this roller coaster ride. So what I'm gonna help you with is understand how to escape the curse of the roller coaster in 2014. I've got a little graph here for you to understand what it may look like. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of bits. We've got downward spiral, we've got need, right, which is at the bottom line of any part of the roller coaster, meaning that I need a listing, I need a sale. Normally the state of desperation. The middle line that we have here is called surviving. I've seen a lot of agents surviving in 2013, meaning that they're just making enough money to pay the mortgage, make the car repayment, pay the private school fees and just go, I'm just making it there, I'm just surviving which also means that they want, they want another listing, they want more sales, they just wanna do more networking, more everything, but they just want more. And then the top line that we have right here is the success line. Now, here's the things my friends, only 20% of agents I found made that line, meaning that most agents, 80% of them, live between downward spiral and surviving. So their, their roller coaster looked a little bit like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, staying between surviving and downward spiral. Which means once you get to downward spiral, either you, two things happen. Either you go into oblivion, or there's an identity inside of you that says, this is not me, this is not who I stand for, I've got to get myself up. And what generally happens is, agents tend to go get more activities, create more actions, have some patterns, change their behavior, become more disciplined, and build habits into their business. You think about it any time you've ever had to survive, what have you done to get yourself out of that situation? You will probably pick up old open for inspection books. You will start to make, instead of making 10 calls a day, you'll make 30, 40 calls a day. There are certain things that kick in, but here's the thing, when agents get to surviving, they go, I've reached that level of survival. And the problem is, when they reach that level of survival is they discount everything that got them there to that point and they go back to their old habits, have no discipline, and they go back down this level here until once again it kicks in and the behaviors, the patterns, the discipline, the actions and the activities start to kick in to get back to another survival. Survival for some agents sometimes looks like one listing, zero, one listing, two, zero, on a month by month basis. But let me show you how you can in 2014 escape the curse and reach success. Because here's the thing, and this is what I know, Everyone has the discipline, everyone has their behavior, everyone has the actions and activities to reach that level. Because when you've ever had to get to survival, you know what to do. So here's the thing, once you get to survival, what I want you to do in 2014 is emulate everything that you've done here and continue on. This is what 20% of these agents, which I call high achievers, tend to do. They don't stop. They don't stop at survival and go, because you know what happens when you get to survival? A thing called complacency, kicks in, and also mediocrity. Meaning that we just settle for complacency and mediocrity in life, just to survive, rather than actually continue with the habits, the discipline, the habits, the actions and activities, and reach up here. So these agents generally will perhaps, for example, if the success definition for this agent was to do five sales and five listings a month, he will do it. And his downward deep is not so far it's not so deep, it only may hit three, okay? And then he bounces back up and continues because there will always be ups and downs in business. That's just the way the world runs, but it's not so deep and they understand what their survival line is. So what I would like for you to do over the next 12 months is understand what is your survival line in 2014? How much do you need to be earning? in terms of covering your mortgage repayments, your car repayments, your kids' school fees, going on a holiday, whatever it may be, just to survive, okay? But once you understand that, I don't want you to ever get upon that level. You should always be above that level and never try and aim to go nowhere near that survival line. Always aim to hit the success, which is also what I call no. No means I know how to get a listing, I know how to get a sale, and it's also called being in the zone which means you get your business into a state of flow. Market appraisals flow, listings flow, sales flow, everything is flowing in your life. 
Let's make 2014 the state of flow, the state of no, and basically escape the roller coaster this year. Have yourself a wonderful 2014. Let's kick start and get cracking.